Well, for David Patch and our entire ESPN crew, Robert Lee saying so long. We go out to the Big West Championship, Cal State Fullerton, UC Santa Barbara. Good night, everyone. Welcome those of you who just saw Kent State wrap up a tournament bid. We're just outside of Las Vegas, Henderson, Nevada, the Big West Tournament Championship. And Miles Norris gets the party started, a three for UC Santa Barbara. He picks up right where he left off last night. That pick and pop spot up three was the difference maker for the Gauchos last night. Along with Corey Williams and her ESPN crew, Roxy Bernstein with you. School record 26 wins for UC Santa Barbara this year as Josh Pierre-Louis called for a foul for the Gauchos. Santa Barbara tied UC Irvine for the Big West Championship. Both teams went 15 and five. And the Gauchos have won six in a row. While Cal State Fullerton, eight straight wins for Diedrich Taylor's club, the fourth seed in this Big West tournament. Max Jones penetrates. Backs down against A.J. Mitchell. And the rebound grabbed by the Big West Player of the Year. A.J. Mitchell, a monster game last night. Poked away from behind. Here comes Torrey San Antonio ahead of steam. And he glides in to get Cal State Fullerton on the board. Torrey San Antonio, another huge reason that Fullerton is here in this championship game. He had an unbelievable performance last night. The Big West Defensive Player of the Year. Miles Norris steps in, tried to bank it, and he was looking around for a call. Didn't get it. Latrell Wrightsell Jr., first team all Big West. 22 last night in their win against the Anteaters. On the drive across the key, rattles out for Jalen Harris, and the rebound hustling. And grabbing it is Vincent Lee, and a foul committed by the Gauchos, and it's on A.J. Mitchell. Joe Pasternak, a couple of years ago, was the Big West Coach of the Year. Sixth season at UC Santa Barbara. And he is nearly 80 games over 500 in his six years guiding UCSB. An outstanding job done by Coach Pasternak. Turning the program in the right direction. Having a lot of success. Trell Wrightsell Jr. on the fadeaway over Josh Pierre-Louis and Calvin Wisher. The senior grabs a rebound for UC Santa Barbara. Josh Pierre-Louis from the corner. And the rebound grabbed by Max Jones. The transfer from the University of Tampa, the Division II level, where he averaged over 20 points a game. And his runner, too strong, tips it in, and the Titans go on top. Roxy, this is going to be such a great game because you have guys who have to score guarding guys who have to score. So whoever finds that defensive consistency is going to have a huge advantage tonight. And a travel called on A.J. Mitchell. Diedrich Taylor last year. 21 wins, and they won the Big West Tournament final. And lost to Duke in the first round of the NCAA Tournament. Back-to-back 20-win -back seasons for Diedrich Taylor and the Titans. Sensational coach as well, Rox. We talk about how his teams tend to flip the switch this time of the year. Max Jones, six straight for Cal State Fullerton. Normally, coaches like to hide their scorers defensively to keep them out of foul trouble, but you can't do that in a game like this tonight. Guys have to step up and guard each other. We've got four or five guys out here that can get 20 pretty easy. Better step the drive gliding in Josh Pierre Louis left it short got to the basket and Vincent Lee clears for the Titans Max Jones And one and That's just a big-time move you get the mismatch against Kelly the spin cycle and takes him to the rim. Fullerton, not the biggest team, but so quick. And last night we watched them penetrate again and again and again. They are not going to stop attacking the rim. Eight straight for Cal State Fullerton after Miles Norris hit a three to start the game. And subs for UC Santa Barbara. Cole Anderson, 6'4 guard off the bench, as well as Evans Caputo, a 6'8 junior from Kenya. 
Grayson Carper in for Cal State Fullerton. Along with John Mikey Squares, it's 9-3 Cal State Fullerton. And Max Jones has seven of the nine. You see Santa Barbara got down 13-2 last night. Before they rallied, back door, A.J. Mitchell lays it in. Great vision, but no ball pressure on the passer. A.J. Mitchell doing a great job moving without the ball. Both semifinal matchups were terrific last night as Latrell Wrightsell Jr. hits his first shot of the night. This is one of the matchups we're going to be watching. Two guys who absolutely have to come through. A.J. Mitchell already with one foul early. He is so valuable to Santa Barbara. Cole Anderson launching. Three. And just like that, you see Santa Barbara making some plays and tightening up this game. You mentioned the slow start they got off to last night, and they're right back in it already. Trell Wrightsell Jr., the miss, and the rebound, Cole Anderson. So the Gauchos on the heels of losing three in a row. They had a tough sequence with some injuries. And then they've regrouped, and Joe Pasternak has rebuilt the way they play, and they've won six in a row against the Titans, who've won eight straight. Early lead for Cal State Fullerton. He was... First team all league this year. There is ranks in the Big West. He had a 22 point performance last night. Such last night, the offenses were on display both ways. I have a feeling it's going to be a little bit tighter and more defensive oriented tonight. It will have to be. When you're talking about guys that can score off the dribble, constantly putting pressure on defenders, somebody's going to get in foul trouble, and that could change the game. Andre Kelly, who was. Limited to just one point fouled out last night and the grad transfer from Cal with the bucket to pull the Gauchos within one yeah, And he's got to be big for the Gauchos. He missed a lot of easy shots last night, but right there. He's able to connect There's an offensive foul on Max Jones lower the shoulder into AJ Mitchell And will go the other way a turnover by Cal State Fulton. The Titans have the best turnover margin in the league Right here, you're going to see A.J. Mitchell. He's got the one foul already, but he's smart enough to keep his hands out. Get the player control foul. The Gauchos were tested in their quarterfinal matchup as they were down as many as 10 in the first half to Cal Poly. Trailed by six of the half, and they took it over in the second half, end up winning by 10. Skip to Miles Norris, who attacks, and it's blocked. And maybe a goal 10 that Cal State Fullerton got away with. John Mikey Square came across. Max Jones sets up. Misses a three. And the rebound fighting for it. Torrey San Antonio and Andre Kelly. And it belongs to Cal State Fullerton. We'll take a look at this second line defense. Square comes over. The ball's up on the way up. Looks like a good block on the way up. But that's what you want out of your team, especially a team that doesn't have a seven-footer. You need guys to come over and make a second and sometimes even a third effort. First appearance for Matija Belic, the freshman from Serbia. And he gave the Gauchos a big spark last night. He didn't make a three all season until he made two last night. Torrey San Antonio attacks him, gets to the basket, too strong, and the rebound, Andre Kelly. Rips it down as Kelly, honorable mention, all packs well performer while playing for the Golden Bears. Here is Andre Kelly. Ten to shoot. AJ Mitchell weaves his way in and a reach in foul. That's on Grayson Carper of Cal State Fullerton. Actually, they called it on the trail right cell, not Carper. So it was on number three and not number 21 in the first against right cell. Right cell out there trying to poke and reach against A.J. Mitchell. That's a heck of a defensive assignment for him. Here's A.J. Mitchell from deep. In and out on the three, and the rebound tipped free, and it's grabbed by the Titans and right cell. Step back from the trail right cell, the rebound Cole Anderson for UC Santa Barbara. 
The Gauchos in last night, 92-87 over Riverside after the Highlanders swept the season series from UC Santa Barbara. But the Gauchos, 57% shooting last night, 19 assists, only five turnovers. Cole Anderson, the pull-up inside the arc. And the rebound tip free, last touch by Matia Pelic of Santa Barbara. It belongs to Cal State Fullerton. Here's the season series between these two teams, each winning on the road. Cal State Fullerton winning at the Thunderdome just a few weeks ago, 74-60. A.J. Mitchell had only three points in that game. And then the first time around at the end of December in the conference opener, UC Santa Barbara beat Cal State Fullerton. 66-58. Torrey San Antonio to the basket. And the rebound. Ripping it away is Lathaniel Bastion for the Titans. Shot clock down to five. Jalen Harris drives and got it. Harris getting to the rim. He's out front, 25 feet away with five seconds to go. And one of the smallest guys on the court gets all the way to the rim. The first match of Cal State Fuller to the season high. 21 turnovers and a foul off the ball and that's two now on Latrell Wrightsell Jr. of Cal State Fullerton And that's what we talked about Roxy. That is huge when you've got a guy who's got to give you 20 Pick up his second foul early in the first half. They are going to have to adjust Team foul number four Josh Pierre-Louis Couldn't get it to go but followed up by Andre Kelly Right now, Andre Kelly, the biggest man on the floor for UC Santa Barbara. They should look to go through him offensively, get him started. Ten on the shot clock. Jalen Harris from D. And the rebound tipped out to Calvin Wishart, and the Gauchos turn it right back over. 13-12, Cal State Fullerton in UC Santa Barbara in the Big West Championship. Last year's Big West Tournament MVP. One point lead for the Titans. Cal State Fullerton last night, who made 10 for 17 on their threes against UC Irvine. They're 0 for 3 to start this one. And they shot wide open threes off the penetration and kick. And that's why they shot that good percentage. Jalen Harris and a oh, travels call. So a walk against Jalen Harris. And second turnover committed by Cal State Fullerton. Titans had to survive an overtime game in the quarterfinals against Hawaii. Last second three in regulation by Noel Coleman of the Rainbow Warriors forcing overtime. And there's a foul as Josh Pierre-Louis knocked down by Max Jones. And now Jones has two. Two fouls on Max Jones and two on Latrell Wrightsell Jr. for Cal State Fullerton. That's an early problem for Diedrich Taylor as he sends Deshaun Eaton into the game. They are really going to have to be next man up for Cal State Fullerton because they've got early foul issues from guys who contribute offensively. Calvin Wisher. Loose ball tipped by Evans Caprudo, saved by Wishart, and Caprudo had it knocked away, and Jalen Harris secures it. Here comes Cal State Fullerton. Max Jones. And it's traveled. Deshaun Eaton with the walk goes back to the Gauchos. Cole 
Jackson back on the floor and Andre Kelly coming back as well for Joe Pasternak. And you can see the difference or the lack of offensive identity right now with Cal State Fullerton without Latrell on the floor. There's a little more hesitation. Guys aren't willing to step up and make plays. And he's got a long way to go before he'll be back in the lineup. And a Titans team, eight straight wins. They've won 10 of their last 11. So peaking at the right time of the year. Andre Kelly rattles in, and Andre Kelly, that is a terrific sign for UC Santa Barbara. It certainly is, because he missed his first four or five shot attempts last night, but able to get going early, and it's always good when you've got the big man as an option. And a strong finish by Jalen Harris, and Cal State Fullerton reclaims the lead. Harris not afraid to go right at Kelly. Max Jones leads Cal State Fullers in the seven. Andre Kelly six to pace the Gauchos. A.J. Mitchell to Cole Anderson. Gets the flyby. Three. Second three for Cole Anderson. That's just textbook fundamentals. The pump fake kept his shoulder square, knocked it down. Jones, the pull-up, rattles in, and we're tied. They're, Jones has nine of the 17. Excuse me, Rox. They're going to keep testing Kelly in that ball screen to see what he does defensively. If he stays back, they've got guards that can hit the floater. Seven to shoot. Miles Norris, the kick. Josh Pierre Louise spots up, misses the three, and the rebound falls to Deshaun Eaton for the Titans. Again, the ball screen, which you talked about. Torrey San Antonio gets by Miles Norris and lays it in. Miles Norris got to give a better effort defensively. San Antonio, a solid player, but to get down and keep him out of the lane, Fullerton does not hide anything. They want to drive to the rim all night. Miles Norris on the baseline. And the rebound, Vincent Lee has it for the Titans. Vincent Lee had a strong game last night. 15 points, 6 rebounds after he was scoreless in the quarterfinal matchup with Hawaii. And I was going to say earlier, you have to have a big man that does something on the roll. When you set a screen, you have to be a threat. And Lee became a threat for them on the roll. He got some dunks, and it got them going. Miles Norris in the corner. Good look at a three. Second three for Norris. And that's how you make up for the defensive error. You knock down the three ball. Gaucho's four for seven from three. 35% of the threes this year, but overall field goal percentage. UC Santa Barbara's seventh in the country. 49.6% from the floor. And a foul called against Andre Kelly of the Gauchos is second. Gauchos by one in a battle of the last two Big West Tournament winners. As A.J. Mitchell hails from Belgium, and Mom flew in for the Big West Tournament. And that's no short trip. I made that flight many a time. I played in Belgium for about seven or eight years. So that is something. Mom coming all this way to show her love across multiple time zones to see her baby boy. Michelle Wright still back on the floor with his two fouls for Cal State Fullerton. Torrey San Antonio finds him. Five to shoot. He drives. Off one foot, the floater in the key by right cell. And he's made a point of trying to go at A.J. Mitchell and force him to play both ends of the floor. Miles Norris sets up in the corner. Rattles out the three and the rebound, Torrey San Antonio for Cal State Fullerton. Great execution by the Gauchos right there. Right cell. Left it short. The rebound, Evans Caputo for the Gauchos. A.J. Mitchell. Knocked down and won. Second foul of John Mikey Square of Cal State Fullerton. 
A.J. Mitchell uses the ball screen. When he gets the matchup that he likes, he goes to work behind the back and the floater, and that is too much contact from square. Mitchell missing the free throw. 82% foul shooter. He's already had eight lead changes in this Big West final. Jalen Harris turns the corner. Harris is clobbered by Evans Caputo. Jalen Harris will head to the line to shoot two for Cal State Fullerton, a 74% foul shooter, a senior from L.A. All right, you want your interesting, weird stat of the game? Okay. So, teams shooting free throws against UC Santa Barbara this year, 76%. That's one of the highest opponent free throw percentages in the country. And he missed it. Is that on me? I got another stat. Okay. Players shooting free throws when Roxy mentions their percentage. No, no, I didn't. Well, I mentioned him before no. I mentioned what the teams have shot against UC Santa Barbara this year. So I, you can't put that one of the broadcaster jinx, can no, you? No, no, we can't. You're good. Battles in the second, and we have another tie. Both teams playing very similar offensively. The four out, one in type, dribble handoff, pick and pop, one big man kind of lurking around in the paint. But you've got, you know, three sets of great guards that love to penetrate and can shoot. Here's Miles Norris. And this may be the first post up of the night. And an offensive foul on Norris. I don't know about that one. I think Harris with a little bit of acting. He was obviously he had the mismatch, and a lot of times you'll see the officials give you the first bump for free. So there's your free one. Second one, a little bit of acting. Referee calls the offensive foul. Very San Antonio put off in the key. Harris had it knocked away and a whistle. That's now two on Norris. Uh, Harris is really determined to get into the paint and make things happen, whether it's on ball screens or one on one. Seven team foul. The Titans now in the bonus. Harris a one and one. One for two from the line for Jalen Harris. Five points. Started all 33 games this year for Cal State Fulton. Now, last year's Big West sixth man of the year. Moving into a starting role this year, is averaging nine points a game so far in this tournament. And it spins all the way around, and it goes one more for Harris. Sunday, NBA matchup on ESPN is AD, and the Lakers hosting Julius Randle. And the Knicks, our coverage tips, 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific. Knicks right now, 5th to East. Lakers are ninth in the West. Four weeks left in the regular season. Knicks, Lakers, Sunday night. It's astounding to me how many teams in the NBA are struggling to just be a couple of games over 500. A the whole lot. West is there's a log yeah. jam. Andre Kelly. Alvin Wishart finds Cole Anderson. And the rebound, Jalen Harris for the Titans. Vincent Lee. He's doubled. And intercepted Calvin Wisher. Tears up the floor. Wisher drives in. Fouled and won Calvin Wisher. What a crafty play. They get the live ball steal. And watch this, Rox. Right here, we're talking coast to coast. He fakes as if he's going to cross down the lane and then brings it back uses his body as a shield and that's just a great finish dives into the defender easy call for the refs and that was against the big west defensive player of the year tory san antonio calvin wishard 77 percent foul shooter took over as a starter for the gauchos with the injury to ajari sani as uc santa barbara for the last few weeks of the season missing Two of their top six players. And Ajari Sani, who was a 
longtime starter. In fact, you played with his dad, Jarvis, in Arizona. And also, Koki Tong, the freshman, was really coming on off the bench for UC Santa Barbara. And there's some optimism they may be able to get Sonny back should they advance to next week in the NCAA tournament. On the shot clock. Evans Caputo squares up from the foul line. An unlikely source. He had a career high six points last night. Yeah, I wasn't in the locker room for Fullerton, but I can guarantee you that's not on the scouting report. Him being good from 16. And there's a foul committed. And checking to see who it's on. Three-point lead, UC Santa Barbara at practice almost every day. Just comes in. He and Joe Pasternak are very close. And they've really connected since day one. Foul was on Evans Caputo, by the way, his second. Vincent Lee missing the front end of a one and one. But the Pimmers around. Ben Howland is back in Santa Barbara these days. He's going to most of Joe's practices as well. That's a lot of coaches. This is some good brains to pick. Yep. Josh Pierre-Louis weaving his way in. And he's a player that needs to get it going for the Gauchos. How about Matia Belich? You can see the confidence in him, Corey. After the big night he had last night, he was looking for his right there. Yeah, you get these opportunities early in the game. Coach puts you out there. You got to produce. Jalen Harris open. Air balls a three. Largest lead for UC Santa Barbara is the Gauchos on a 7-0 run. And this is not the shooting we saw out of Fullerton last night. They were on fire, knocking down those penetration kicks. The challenge of playing your third game in three days. Absolutely. And plus they had an overtime game in the quarters. Alvin Wishart on the fadeaway. And the weak side, Andre Kelly is there for the Gauchos. Kelly blocked and a foul. Vincent Lee got him on the arm. And Andre Kelly will head to the line with 2.31 left in the half. Two shots for Kelly. As Andre Kelly rolls the first one in, a 59 percenter. Coming up, champ week tomorrow, the SEC championship. One Eastern, the top two seeds, Buzz Williams and Texas A&M taking on Alabama. And then the AAC, the American championship. Houston and Memphis also the top two seeds. It's Penny Hardaway's team. You wonder what's going on with Marcus Sasser had to leave the game for Houston today with an injury. That would be a horrific loss for Kelvin Sampson in Houston should he be out for any period of time. Well, they look so tough when you watch them play, the way they commit to defending so many different weapons they can hit you with at Houston. Foul on Matia Bella to the Gauchos. First personal. And Torrey San Antonio, 69% foul shooter to the line. 19 foul, a one and one for Torrey San Antonio. Torrey San Antonio had the big night last night, especially in the first half. And then he got popped in the nose last night. And that's why he's got that bandage across the nose. And he was spilling a decent amount of blood last night on the court after he got hit in the nose. Yeah, it was pretty bad. But, you know, he hung out, he hung in there, he came back, made some plays in the second half. But you're right, got hit with an elbow and just really playing a great game. Still finish strong, but he's a guy that can explode. We saw what he can do. It's a question of does he knock down some shots tonight? 17 last night for San Antonio, and the bulk of the damage that he did on the score sheet, not his nose, in the first half. Yeah. But he did get popped to the nose in the first half, too. A.J. Mitchell into the lane. 
And there's the foul on San Antonio. And that's two on Torrey San Antonio. And A.J. Mitchell will shoot a one and one. Mitchell 0 for 1 from the line. Four points for A.J. Mitchell, along with four assists already. And a 1 and 1 for the Gauchos. Point guard, UC Santa Barbara up four. One more for A.J. Mitchell. I mean, you and I had the feeling we we're talking before the game. We're headed for a close game the way these two teams are playing. And this has been the theme for Cal State Fullerton recently. The Titans, 12 of their last 16 games have been decided by six points or less. And they're a team that it's very difficult for them to take a run, and they always keep it close. They've got a lot of scorers, and they always commit to defense, so it's hard to build a lead. And right now, the Gauchos up six. Jalen Harris on a step back three. And just like that, they cut the lead in half. And Harris has 10. And that's what they've been able to do all season, make the plays and stay within striking distance. And a kick committed by Cal State Fullerton. They'll put 20 back up on the shot clock. Now, Rox, this isn't the best-looking shot. The defender's still with you a little bit, but he stumbles. There's the step back. Nothing but net. The Titans finally connecting on a three. It's been a while. There's the three-point numbers tonight. And normally, Cal State Fullerton, a good three-point shooting team, 37% on the year. Josh Pierre-Louis thought about driving, trying to attack. Wright has got two fouls. Pierre-Louis with zero, and Wright Cell with only four. And a steal by Wright Cell. Gets to the basket. Falling away, Latrell Wright Cell Jr. He must have heard me talking about him. Coast to coast on the steal, and just like that, we got a one-point game. They got to get the ball to A.J. Mitchell and the possession. Make him create something with your Santa Barbara. Here he goes. Josh Pierre-Louis on the pull-up. And the rebound. Tip free. And the Titans can play for the final shot of the half. And I think Coach Deidre Taylor's going to take a timeout. Yep, he's going to take a timeout and draw something up. To use it or lose it. 30-second timeout. We'll take a 30 as well. of 68 is revealed with continuing coverage on ESPNU at 9 and at 10, 7 Pacific. Even more coverage of both brackets. Everything also streaming live on the ESPN app. And remember, in most places, set your clocks forward an hour tonight. Not in Arizona. But we you're in Nevada right now. We don't deal with that foolishness down in Tucson. <laughs> Knocked away, Josh Pierre-Louis. And here comes Matia Belich for the Gauchos. Belich and a foul call with 3.4 left in the half on John Mikey Square, and that's his third foul. And that's a huge turn of events. You had the Titans playing for the final shot, maybe trying to get an emotional lift and steal the lead before half. And instead, they turn it over. And it's a double bonus. Yeah. Two shots for Matia Belich, who is only four for nine from the line this season. We talk about these games and how a bad stretch of basketball can bury you in a high leverage game. Situation like that, turnover that leads to free throws. They'll still have a chance to create something, but I know Diedrich Taylor and his staff wanted a chance to that's a gaucho ball as Josh Pierre Louis trying to get the inside position. Last touch by Torrey San Antonio. And then went out of bounds off of the Titans. Cal State Fullerton. Got enough time 
Doesn't have to be a catch and shoot. You can get a dribble and a shot. Ball into Miles Norris. Calvin Wisher from the corner. And it fell short, and it's a two-point game at the half. UC Santa Barbara up on Cal State Fullerton, 33-31 after 20 minutes. It has been a tight, rugged to lead UC Santa Barbara. But the interesting number to me for the first half, Corey, Cal State Fullerton did not have an assist in the entire first 20 minutes. No, and that is definitely a head-scratcher. They are a penetrate kick team. And they've been kicking it out, but just haven't connected on a lot of shots. Does it also have something to do with the Gauchos' defense? It does, because you're going to scheme for those ball screens. A lot of it's 1-5, but guys are staying home. They're not helping out, and that's when you see the poor shooting percentage from Fullerton. Last touch by Andre Kelly. Titans ball. Normally the reaction is when there's a ball screen or a penetration, guys kind of come into the lane, and that's when you see those outside shots open up. But the Gauchos have been sound. They had some penetration issues early, but you say only 30 points, 33 points. And an offensive foul, Vincent Lee threw the hip out to act as a screen. Even though he had the ball, he stuck the hip out and disrupted the defender, A.J. Mitchell. And he did the exact same thing and drew the exact same foul last night in that dribble handoff situation where he's the passer trying to free up those cutters. Here's A.J. Mitchell. Calvin Wisher moves in. Finds Josh Pierre-Louis as it's stripped by Latrell Wrightsell Jr. Here comes Cal State Fullerton. Max Jones. Wrightsell from deep. And the rebound. There's Kelly for the Gauchos. Latrell Wrightsell, you can see him trying to get things going. And that's an offensive foul on A.J. Mitchell in his second foul. Right here, A.J. Mitchell, there's the forearm to the chest area. Not a whole lot there, but enough to draw the whistle. That's a cheap one. Max Jones gets to the basket, and we're tied. A.J. Mitchell wisely surrendered and gave him the layup, not wanting to pick up his third. Eleven now for Max Jones. Josh Pierre-Louis has it stripped by Torrey San Antonio. Leaking out Jalen Harris, and Cal State Fullerton goes in front. And that's two turnovers from Pierre-Louis, a guy who was on fire yesterday. Just been invisible so far for the Gauchos, but he's a player that can turn it on. He's going to have to start to play a little bit more aggressive. In a season I-20 last night. A.J. Mitchell weaves his way inside. Oh, and that's what he does best. Get the defender on his hip and just dish out punishment. A step back from right cell. And the rebound, Andre Kelly for the Gauchos. Lanky Miles Norris. Mitchell. Knocked away in a reach in. That's the third on the trail right cell junior. And you see the attention that they pay to A.J. Mitchell when he's in the one-on-one. -on -one. They rotate over, but they certainly don't need to keep collecting fouls. So Cal State Fullerton, eight straight wins. They've won 10 of their last 11, 20 at 12 coming into this championship game. They won the Big West last year, looking for two straight. The Gauchos won it two years ago, and a school record 26 wins for UC Santa Barbara.
Josh Pierre-Louis off balance, trying to attack right cell, who wisely backed off. Torrey San Antonio to the bucket. Thirty-seven, thirty-five. Titans go back on top. You see Santa Barbara led by as many as six in the first half. Cal State Fullerton had a six-point lead at one point. Five on the shot clock. Miles Norris trying to create the fadeaway from Norris. And a foul going for the rebound. It's on Josh Pierre-Louis. Second on Pierre-Louis. Well, you know Cal State Fullerton wants to play with tempo. They get the ball up the court and right here, just in attack mode. A.J. Mitchell being mindful of his foul situation. Latrell Wrightsell Jr. mindful of his foul situation. I don't know. If I'm a coach, I maybe tell my guys, hey, this is do or die. you got to play some D at some point. Jalen Harris. And the rebound, here comes A.J. Mitchell. Cole Anderson. And the Gauchos will set it up in the half court now. Miles Norris way off on the three. And it goes out of bounds to Cal State Fullerton. Two-point game. The Titans, the Gauchos in Henderson, Nevada. In Southern Utah at the Orleans Arena. Those are the teams that have already have a spot in the field of 68. Will it be UC Santa Barbara or will it be Cal State Fullerton that joins them? Loose ball picked up by Latrell Wrightsell. Still plenty of time on the shot clock. Max Jones comes up grimacing for the Titans. Nathaniel Bastion off of Calvin Wishart. Six on the shot clock for Cal State Fullerton. And Max Jones is hunched over in the corner. Now trying to shake off whatever's ailing him, but he went down and he's in a little bit of pain. Six on the shot clock. Nathaniel Bastion hands it off. Jalen Harris from deep. And the rebound, A.J. Mitchell for the Gauchos. Here's Mitchell. Eight points tonight for A.J. Mitchell. Fouled. Rattles out, but two free throws for Cole Anderson. And the foul is on Torrey San Antonio. His third foul. Well, the fouls are starting to mount up for both teams, but great patience right there by the Gauchos. They ran that double loop. They had Norris in the post, but Anderson... Normally a spot-up shooter, they get him on the move, and he has a chance to knock down some free throws. 73% or seven points off the Gauchos bench tonight for Cole Anderson. So foul difficulty for the Titans. Three for Latrell Wrightsell Jr., John Mikey Square, and Torrey San Antonio with just inside 15 minutes to play. And for the Gauchos, nobody with more than two. Here's Max Jones to the bucket. Blocked by Andre Kelly. A.J. Mitchell rolls off. Miles Norris can't get the tip. And Max Jones has it for the Titans and a foul. Boy, a great play by Kelly defending the rim. They've been putting him in ball screens all night, and he finally has had enough right here. Takes on the guard, scrapes it off the glass, and they're going the other way. That's the third foul on Miles Norris, who will check out. And I think Norris is that X Factor player for the Gauchos. A couple of buckets from him can change the game. 
Torrey San Antonio can't miss point blank, or can't get a point blank. Then gets the rebound and a foul on Andre Kelly, and he's got three. A lot of contact. They are letting him play here tonight. San Antonio takes it to the rim. Right here, loose ball. He gets his hand on it. They're going to call Kelly for the foul. Not a whole lot there. Looks like he had a lot of ball. Yeah. John Mikey Square trying to go to work down low. And the rebound. Here's Cole Anderson out of the pack for the Gauchos. Calvin Wisher off balance. And a foul will get him to the line. That would have been a neat trick shot if that had gone for Calvin Wisher. You know, not the best offense, these last two or three sequences <laughs> up and down the court. You're not going to put this in a time capsule no, for no. future basketball watchers? Not at all. What but basketball was like in 2023? No, this is not indicative of either program right now. Some sloppy possessions, some wild, crazy shots. Both coaches okay with it because it's a tie game. But How much of it is the defense? Because these teams know each other so well. I think it's defense, but I also think we're starting to see a little bit of fatigue. When you're seeing the missed layups. Third and, game in three days. Yeah, the reaching because your feet are tired. Fatigue is creeping its way, and it's going to be a battle, a mental battle down the stretch because both teams are in the exact same position. Both teams have four or five guys that play 30-plus minutes. It's just going to come down to who wants it more. Titans have made one of their last seven. The Gauchos have missed their last five. Latrell Wright sells Jr. And he throws it away, trying to get it in the corner to Torrey San Antonio. And that's a shot he normally shoots. He loves to do the ball screen and hit the floater. But he deferred and tried to pass. That was a difficult angle. A.J. Mitchell finds Cole Anderson and a foul committed by Grayson Carper and those two former high school teammates at Clovis West in Fresno bump into one another. I think that's happened a few times over the years. I took her to the St. Mary's Gonzaga game uh, over in Moraga and today is her 16th birthday. So I need to wish my daughter a very happy birthday. Absolutely. Happy birthday to Berkeley. Your the only road partner that I and Bill Walton will take a second seat to. <laughs> Saw her with you a couple of months ago looking at universities. Man, okay. how time flies. I can't believe I have a 16-year-old. That's <laughs> where, where, uh, where to go. Shot clock winding down. The Gauchos don't see it. Cole Anderson, desperation shot, and he got a three. They're going to check it to make sure it left his hand before the shot clock expired. And they finally realized it. The shot clock was expiring, and Cole Anderson let it go. In a game like this, it could be a play like this that changes the momentum. Yep. Okay, he got it out of his hand. They're saying it's a two, not a three. Either so way. two, not a three. Although the scoreboard in the building says 42-37. We'll have to confirm, but 41-37 and Cole Anderson with the bucket right beat the shot clock. Trell Wrightsell Jr. and Andre Kelly secures the rebound. The Gauchos look to run. It is a three that we have got confirmation. The shot by Cole Anderson was a three. So it's a five-point lead. A.J. Mitchell, the Big West player of the year. Double near midcourt. Cole Anderson way out there. Rattles out. And the rebound grabbed by Grayson Carper for the Titans. Seven straight. And now an offensive foul. John Mikey square an illegal screen. Four fouls on John Mikey Square. And for Cal State Fullerton, you had the missed layup, and then on this opportunity, you've got to be set when you try to set a ball screen. He's moving. 
gets a piece of A.J. Mitchell, and that's going to go the other way. These empty possessions. It'll be interesting to see if the Gauchos can capitalize. Calvin Wisher. Three. Largest lead of the night. Ten straight points for UC Santa Barbara. And a foul. And free throws for Max Jones. We're actually in a big game like this. We talked about momentum. At Arizona State. And it certainly helped Derek's numbers when he was handing the ball off to James Harden. Yeah, I don't think, I think that was a one-way assist situation. Foul was on Evans Caputo. It's Max Jones missing from the line. And one more shot. Jones has 11. Jalen Harris leads Cal State Fullerton with 12. Cole Anderson off the Gauchos bench leads UCSB with 11. He missed both. And the rebound, Josh Pierre-Louis for the Gauchos. You know, you look at the score and you say it's only eight points. But in a game like this, it feels like so many more. you got to take advantage of those opportunities. Two missed free throws. And now the zone defense to try to somehow change the momentum. The wrinkle of the Gauchos. Miles Norris missing from deep. And the run out. Here comes Latrell Wrightsell. Three on two. Torrey San Antonio goes underneath. Wrightsell. Three. And he is the man that is going to have to make it happen for Cal State Fullerton. They've got plenty of time. They don't need to rush. But when he gets an open look, he's got to take it. Ends the run for the Gauchos. Andre Kelly in the key. Missed the jump hook. Rebound, Max Jones. Jones fumbled it away, dives for it. Jalen Harris on the baseline, and the rebound falls to Andre Kelly for the Gauchos. And Andre Kelly has got seven points tonight. Tonight is the reason why he transferred to Santa Barbara for the opportunity to go to the NCAA tournament. He had a very good run of four years at Cal, but. California has struggled the last number of years and he wanted to go to the tournament as Pierre Louis has it stripped and that was the motivation to come to Santa Barbara Harris offensive foul a Charge on Jalen Harris and would also help get Andre Kelly To Santa Barbara not just the opportunity to get to the tournament with a team that had a chance to win the conference But Corey he was recruited out of high school by Joe Pasternak and he had that relationship already. When he was looking at his final list of schools, Santa Barbara was on it. He chose Cal, but then, second time around, because of that relationship and familiarity with Joe Pasternak, he went to Santa Barbara as Miles Norris. Another Pac-12 transfer to Santa Barbara. He started at Oregon. You know, a lot of people talk about the importance of recruiting and relationships. And you're right, you get a chance to get your hand on an experienced player. And one, Max Jones. A lot of back and forth. Jones, right here, the spin move. It's the and one. And I got to tell you, I'm scratching my head on some of these calls. There was a charge. There was a no call on Pierre Louis. And then there's a phantom ghost foul right there that I really didn't see. Am I, do I need to get my, my readers on? Am I missing something? Championship game. <laughs> Max Jones. Three-point play. He's got 14 to lead Cal State Puller. And the Gaucho lead is four. And right now, the Gauchos need to be playing through A.J. Mitchell. Let him create. Calvin Wishart missing the three. Torrey San Antonio the rebound. Latrell writes up behind the screen. Fires. Last touch by Andre Kelly of the Gauchos. It belongs to Cal State Fullerton.
Cal State Fullerton winners of eight straight, 10 of 11. They also had a couple of games canceled toward the end of the year. They finished at 12 and six. They played two fewer league games than everybody else because UC Davis had a rash of injuries, could not field a suitable team to play a game in late February. As Torrey San Antonio draws the foul and one, and Miles Norris picks up his fourth. There's a lot going on on that play. San Antonio with the hesitation. Thought he might have shuffled, but there's the good grip through, and right there he holds his ground and just a little bit of contact. It's a tight whistle in this championship game. Land one for Torrey San Antonio. Two for two for the line tonight. And it was eight, and the Titans have a chance to get it to one. Not only did they lose that game against UC Davis, they also had a game canceled against UC San Diego as UC San Diego had a COVID outbreak late in the season, had to cancel a couple of games. So that potentially cost Cal State Fullerton a couple of wins down the stretch. And here they are with nine minutes to go in the season. Both teams trying to punch their ticket and Fullerton is clawed back to down one after it looked like the Gauchos had cracked this game open. Six straight for Cal State Fullerton. Josh Pierre-Louis. Pierre-Louis really quiet tonight, no points. Three to shoot. Calvin Wisher double clutches. And bodies went crashing everywhere. A shot clock violation against UC Santa Barbara. Big possession for Cal State Fullerton. Just psychologically, they know they're within one. A bucket here to take the lead. Can they turn the corner or can the Gauchos go on another run? Trell Wrightsell. Against A.J. Mitchell. Corey San Antonio down the lane, the drop off. Vincent Lee, and one. It has been a long time coming for Fullerton. They were reeling down eight and have made some stops and a big conversion right here. This is the penetration drop off that they've been looking for all night and Lee finally connects for the Titans. Eight nothing run for Cal State Fullerton. And it seemed switching to that zone, throwing that wrinkle, changed the momentum, which you talked about, Corey. You anticipated what Deidre Taylor was trying to do. Yeah, he just stole two possessions where Santa Barbara was a little bit out of sync, and they turned those possessions into points. And that's how they were able to get back into the lead. But if you're Santa Barbara, the remainder of this game, you got to play through A.J. Mitchell. He's your star. He's the guy that can create and right this ship offensively. Here he is, Mitchell, to the basket. Santa Barbara seesaws in front. The other end, Latrell Wrightsell. Wrightsell first team all lead. A fadeaway, rattles in. Boy, this is gonna be an absolute duel out front between Wrightsell and Mitchell. Both players have no choice but to go at each other. 15 lead changes. Mitchell to the basket. AJ Mitchell! I don't think there's anyone better in the country when you talk about keeping the defender behind you and using the angles to score. It's a big statement. I'm not saying I disagree. I just said that's a big statement. It, it looks like a video game, the way he just does the same thing over and over, regardless of the defense. Torrey San Antonio, the miss, and Calvin Wisher clears. Gauchos bring it across. Inside, Andre Kelly. <laughs> Great unselfish play, good find, good finish by the big fella. Kelly, the soft touch in the lane. 
Even when the Titans were on the run, there was no panic from the Gauchos. And Cal State Fullerton didn't panic when UC Santa Barbara got up eight. No, both these teams are too good to hit the panic button. They've got capable players that can make plays. Max Jones makes a play. 16 for Jones. Oh, this is great basketball. Great basketball for Champ League. Just a battle of wills. These teams facing off for the third time this season. They know each other well. Mitchell. Spinning. AJ Mitchell. Like I told you, automatic. AJ Mitchell, unstoppable. Latrell right cell. And Mitchell gets knocked down out of bounds off the Gauchos. 5.32 remaining in the Big West Final. Gauchos up three on Cal State Fullerton, in a battle of the last two Big West Tournament winners. 55-52. You see Santa Barbara's right cell is going to take a brief breather, and I can't imagine he's going to be sitting next to Diedrich Taylor for very long. Team fouls, eight on the Gauchos, seven on the Titans in the second half. On a tie-up, it belongs to Cal State Fullerton. Jalen Harris, who's had a strong game. And for the Titans, the better you play, the longer you can rest Reitzel. Max Jones leans in and scores using his size, and he's got 18. And that bucket buys Reitzel a little more rest. It's just a one-point game. But you know when he's coming back, it's to the end. Joe Pasternak rolling the dice, bringing Miles Norris back into the game with his four fouls. And a foul called off the ball and a hold on Cal State Fullerton. And it's on Jalen Harris, his second. And it's a one and one for UC Santa Barbara. AJ Mitchell, who was held, will shoot the one and one. He's two for three in the line tonight. His right cell, like we anticipated, wasn't going to be sitting for very long. We call that a hot second. He was over there for a hot second, and now he's back. I don't think either he or Mitchell's going to come off the floor for the remainder of this game. So Miles Norris now checks out. As Cole Anderson comes back. Not wanting to pick up his fifth as A.J. Mitchell hits both ends of the one and one. Fullerton having success getting to the rim. Their last few buckets have been in the lane. Guys driving all the way to the bucket. Offensive foul, Jalen Harris. Charged into Calvin Wisher, the third on Harris. And this is tough to swallow because he's not exactly set. He's moving. Diedrich Taylor not in agreement, and I would have to side with Diedrich Taylor on that one. Can I take the other side? Of course. Looked like Jalen Harris initiated and leaned in with the contact. And I, think that, and I think that's what got him the fouls, the fact that he leaned into it, because there was no way that defender was set. But it is what it is. Four minutes to go. They're doubling Mitchell. Andre Kelly. Spinning on Nathaniel Bastion, tries to drop it off for Pierre Louis, who saves it. Wisher over to Mitchell. The floater, AJ Mitchell again. And if you're Cal State Fullerton, of all the people for that ball to bounce to, AJ Mitchell scoops it up and scores. Cal State Fullerton running the weave out top and trying to penetrate. And the foul, it's on Josh Pierre Louis. And that's four on Pierre Louis with just over four to go. Well, right here, the ball comes to Mitchell. You know he's going to attack the rim, but he stops, puts the floater up off the glass, doesn't pick up the offensive foul. Great body control. One and one, the ninth team foul. The next one puts Cal State Fullerton into the double bonus. And Latrell Wrightsell Jr., 82% foul shooter. 11 points for Wrightsell. A junior from Omaha. And it rattles out. We talked a little bit about fatigue. He's played a lot of minutes. He's had some tough defensive assignments. And right there at the free throw line, 
Comes up empty. They had to play 45 minutes. They had to go overtime with Hawaii on Thursday. And Wright still played 30 minutes last night. Mitchell goes by the defense. And A.J. Mitchell one more time. He beats a double team. The lob for Nathaniel Bastion, who rips it away from Calvin Wishart. And the loose ball picked up. Cole Anderson and a turnover by Cal State Fullerton. Big stops for the Gauchos. They get the turnover. And A.J. Mitchell, it's some outstanding plays down the stretch. 14 for Mitchell since halftime. He's got 20 for the night. Here he is again against the Big West Defensive Player of the Year, Torrey San Antonio. Mitchell, three on the shot clock. Mitchell, off balance, throws it up. Miles Norris, the offensive rebound. Andre Kelly trying to get a tip. And it's controlled. Here comes Cal State Fullerton. If you're the Gauchos, you would have seen Norris pull that back out. Reitzel short on that pull-up three in transition. Two quick shots by both teams. Norris with the quick shot. And then right there, Reitzel taking a shot that could have got a better look. I think both teams are dragging. No question about it. This seven-point lead for the Gauchos gets bigger and bigger as the clock winds down. Mitchell. Fading away. And tipped out of bounds by Miles Norris. We're going the other way. Cal State Fullerton ball, 2.17 to go. Well, we know one player is not enough. So what happens when you send two players? At and Cal State Fullerton, the four seed. But Cal State Fullerton, as hot as anybody coming in. Eight straight wins, 10 out of 11. The Gauchos riding a six-game winning streak into this at a school record. 26 wins for UC Santa Barbara. And for Fullerton, the formula is pretty simple. You need free throws and turnovers. And a foul on Torrey San Antonio after Calvin Wisher had knocked it away. Fourth on San Antonio, and Wisher will shoot free throws at the other end. And for the Titans, that is a huge blow. You Not only do you not get a shot attempt, the Gauchos will get to the line. And there's the defensive stop. You see the intensity. Rolls in for Calvin Wisher. Fullerton. Senior from Minnesota via Georgia Southern, the transfer. And it's UC Santa Barbara's largest lead of the night. And Fullerton fought back from down eight, had the momentum, but then the Gauchos made plays. And a foul. His bodies went crashing, both Pierre Louis and then Latrell Wrightsell is down. And hopefully he gets up and it looks like he's okay. Josh Pierre-Louis is fouled out of this championship game with 2.03 to go. So a double bonus, it'll be two shots for Latrell Wrightsell Jr. So Josh Pierre-Louis is fouled out. Senior, transfer from Temple. Played with his brother Nate for a year at Temple before transferring, and Nate now in the G League playing for Miles Simon in the South Bay Lakers. One more for Wright Cell. Champ Week tomorrow. We'll cap it off with two more championships to be decided in the SEC. Brandon Miller and top seed Alabama against Texas A&M at 1 Eastern. Then at 3.15, the American Championship between Memphis and Houston. ESPN and the app coming up tomorrow, leading up until the bracket reveal. Right cell hit both. Ten to shoot for AJ Mitchell. He drives. Calvin Wisher. Three! Gauchos by ten. Calvin Wishard has come up huge for UC Santa Barbara. Max Jones the miss. Torrey San Antonio is clobbered by Andre Kelly. And that is the fourth on Kelly.
and free throws for the Titans. Roxy, it all starts with the penetration of A.J. Mitchell and the find right there. He draws the defense, and then they swing it to the corner, and maybe the biggest shot of the season for the Gauchos. They're trying to finish them off. Huge three in the corner. They may go to, no, it looks like, yeah, they are going to go to the monitor here to see if it warrants anything more than a common foul. As Andre Kelly called for it. Here with 1.22 remaining, they're going to the monitor. Tommy Nunez, Mike Cyphers, Greg Nixon, a terrific veteran crew with Jeff Ketchu as the standby. And I don't see anything that warrants anything more than just a common foul called on Kelly. No, that's a good old-fashioned, you're not going to get this ball to the rim swipe. Right there he comes down, he hits the ball and gets a lot of shoulder, but it's champ week, no layups. Didn't appear to be any contact with the head or above the shoulders. That it was just a hard swipe across the wrist there trying to get to the ball from Kelly. Yeah, and all players are thinking the same thing. When you get pump fake, every coach will tell you, okay, just make sure they don't get an and one and try to make a hard enough foul, a basketball play, that makes sure they don't get the ball to the rim. The fourth meeting between these teams in the Big West Tournament. Cal State Fullard has won two of the previous three. They last met in the semis back in 2019 when it was at the Honda Center in Anaheim. And Cal State Fullerton beat UC Santa Barbara in that matchup. Gauchos lead the all-time series 51-43. And this is like a throwback to the old PCAA days. <laughs> Pacific Coast Athletic Association. Way back in the day. Even before Diedrich Taylor's time. When he played at UC Davis when they weren't even in this league. Torrey San Antonio hits both. And now full court pressure. Fullerton's going to have to try to force some type of turnover here. Down eight. A little over a minute to go. And Wisher will initiate and get it to Mitchell. And they double it. Ball movement for the Gauchos, playing the clock right now as much as they're playing the Titans. Wishart drives. The fadeaway, Calvin Wishart. And the rebound, Max Jones. Looks to attack. Jalen Harris glides in, rattles out, and the rebound, Andre Kelly. And they foul Cole Anderson. 44.4. We've seen a number of those for Cal State Fullerton in the second half, Corey, that have pinballed around and then popped out. Yeah, and I was going to say that's been the story for them in the second half. A lot of near misses. Get the ball in the scoring position, but it just doesn't drop. And at the other end, for the Gauchos, the story's been the exact opposite. Timely baskets, big threes, getting to the free throw line, all the things you need to do in the final five minutes of the game. One more for Cole Anderson in double figures. For the 12th time this season. Missed the second. Nine point game. Torrey San Antonio puts his head down to the basket, lays it in. Timeout Titans. 37.8 to go. Torrey San Antonio has had a good tournament for Cal State Fullerton has 50, but stuck out his contract, then went to Arizona after an eight-year stint working for Ben Braun at Cal. He was the assistant for Sean Miller at Arizona. But ben Braun, Sean Miller, the big influences, along with Bob Knight, who he worked for as a student manager at Indiana. And the legendary Pete Newell as well, an impact on Joe Pasternak. They break the press. Calvin Wishart is grabbed, and John Mikey Square is fouled out with 29.2 to go. So about three weeks ago, Cal State Fullerton really manhandled UC Santa Barbara at the Thunderdome. It was a stretch where the Gauchos had lost three in a row, and they were doing some deep soul searching. They had some injuries. Ajari Sani got hurt. But Keaton got hurt. And Andre Kelly had to serve a one-game suspension for an incident that happened on the floor in a game against UC Davis. And it appeared all of a sudden everything was falling apart for UC Santa Barbara, but Joe Pasternak got this group 
to rally together again. And since then, they've ripped off six straight wins and are now 29 seconds from going to the NCAA tournament. That's an outstanding story. When you talk about peaks and valleys, I mean, the collegiate season, you know, it starts in November and guys are still going right now. So a lot of things happen throughout throughout a season, but you need that leadership. You need that togetherness to see you through those tough times. And this is one of those sweet moments where you get a little bit, you get to be excited. And some of that hard work pays off. 14 for Wisher. Two of his best games this year have come against Cal State Fullerton. And now with 15, he had a season high 16. And the Gauchos win against Cal State Fullerton back in December. And a timeout for UC Santa Barbara. 29.2 to go. And a 9.40. The third best winning percentage of any school. And you look at San Diego State, just one at Thomas and Mack today, the Mountain West Tournament Championship. UCLA, the Bruins. The story program with 11 national championships right behind the Gauchos in that California win percentage the last six years as a quick dart to the basket by Latrell Wrightsell. And they foul Calvin Wisher. Trying to play the foul game. The problem is UC Santa Barbara is hitting free throws. That's what it comes down to. The final moments of every basketball game are simply the fundamentals. Rebound, passing, making your free throws, playing solid. All that fancy stuff, that time has passed. It's just keep it simple. Try to close out the game. Calvin Wishart, season high tying, 16. Eight for eight from the line. And you just saw Coach Joe Passionate tell his entire team, do not foul. Right sell the one-foot floater. And the rebound, Miles Norris. And a foul with 16 seconds to go, and UC Santa Barbara can really sense it now. It was tough for Cal State Fullerton down the stretch. They just didn't have any answers, and you wonder, the team that was so reliant on the three last night in the win, and if the legs and fatigue were kicking in, and that was trouble, and also dealing with the size of UC Santa Barbara. Yeah, I think both teams, I mean, everybody's tired. This is your third game in three days, so fatigue, you know, it's on both sides. But the difference for me was those buckets made by A.J. Mitchell to steady the Gauchos and keep them in the lead. And those are the plays that set the tone because Fullerton came roaring back and took the lead, but A.J. Mitchell just closed the door. And the Gauchos have held on here at the free throw line down the stretch. Miles Norris, Gauchos by 10. Trell right cell. Torrey San Antonio a deep three. And the rebound, Calvin Wisher. The Gauchos will finish this one off. And UC Santa Barbara for the second time in three years. They're going.